So this was an amazing fairy tale castle shoot that I got to do earlier this year. Yes, it has taken me that long to edit the video for YouTube, sorry guys. But this location was so cool and I loved shooting there, it was so fairy tale and I really hope you enjoy the video. So I was really, really lucky to get invited onto this shoot. It was organised by my friend and photographer Sharon Morris. Her Instagram is Mirror Images. She actually organised this as a shoot for herself with several models and she invited me along kindly and I brought one model with me. So I brought one dress along to this shoot but Sharon brought her entire wardrobe. <laughs> Sharon is actually a stylist, so she has a big collection of dresses. She also makes amazing headdresses. You may have seen one of her headdresses in my earlier video, the lockdown photo shoot with the beautiful big red headdress. So Sharon makes amazing headdresses. So if you need one for your shoot, do check out her Instagram. It's heavenly headdress and styling. The location was open to the public that day, but it was quite quiet. We had a few people come in and out, but it was fine. We pretty much had the place to ourselves. There were so many nooks and crannies and interesting places in this location. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks in the video. The light was a little bit difficult. Sometimes we had to use a reflector to block out the light. I just took a few behind the scenes of Sharon shooting her model while I was waiting for my model to arrive. Josie, that's her arriving now. Once Josie got here, I got her into the dress that I brought with me. I love this dress, it's huge and very fairy tale. It's got a beautiful long train, so that's what I used for my shoot. Whilst Josie was getting ready, I did some location scouting and I decorated the location which we were going to shoot at with some leaf and flower vines. I love doing this, I think it looks really fairy tale if you just kind of blend the model into the location. I shot with the other model first of all while Josie was still getting ready. And so I haven't yet edited these images, but I will do soon. Where do you, where do you want me? <laughs> Once Josie was ready, I got her into a place in the location. And again, I just put leaf vines and flower vines over her dress. I just think this works really well to make it look very fairy tale. It also means you get a lot in camera, so it makes editing easier because it already looks really fairy tale before you even start editing. In post-production, I did take the pink in the headdress down a little bit, just so it matched my dress a bit better. images on my Canon R6 with a Canon 85mm 1.2 lens and one off-camera flash, a Canon Speedlight with a softbox. We then moved to a different part of the location. This was more open rather than in a turret. The ruins in the location made it really easy to drape the dress and make it look as full as possible. found some little nooks and crannies between the walls and we took a few pictures here. We 
We then actually left the castle for a bit and we went into the village that was nearby. Josie did get some looks walking around in that dress, but she's a model, she's used to it, so it was fine. I really like these flowers. I haven't edited one of these pictures yet, but I think I will definitely come back to it soon. I love finding just random flowers or bushes. You can make such effective pictures from them. It then did start to rain, so we did go back to the castle. I took a shot of Josie in the doorway and I actually got one of the models to stand to the side and throw the dress and I caught it as it fell. Here are just some behind the scenes from some of the other models. This styled look was by Sharon, it's her headdress and dress. Isn't it beautiful? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my channel. I'll put all of the links to the models for this shoot below. Please do check out all of their profiles and do check out Sharon's headdresses if you would like a headdress for your photo shoot. I now have a full editing course where I teach step by step my editing style so if you'd like to take your photography and your editing to the next level please do get in touch I'll put the link below to that course and do contact me on social media RR Photographic if you have any questions. The techniques I teach in that course are not just for fine art fairy tale photography they will work on any type of portraiture so do let me know if you want any more information.